Bob, how is the quarterback competition shaping up so far in Cleveland? Well, Randy, today was the first day we got a chance to see Manziel and Hoyer on the field together. And I can tell you the Hoyer, just seven months removed from ACL surgery, was taking snaps with the first team, Manziel taking snaps with the backups. And go back a couple of weeks because the day after the draft, Jimmy Haslam, who's the owner of the Browns, said that he talked to Johnny Manziel and told him to prepare to be the backup. But at least four times this week, including today, head coach Mike Pettin has said that it will be a competition. After today's practice, Pettin talked about the potential competition between Manziel and Hoyer and also what he saw out of Manziel today. Those guys are, are uh, they're competitors and just knowing both of them, uh, they're, they're guys that, that, that both uh, are going to want to be the guy out there on, on, uh, on day one. I mean, that's to me, we wouldn't, want, we wouldn't want them here if they weren't that way. I just think, it's just like any other rookie, that, it, that it's, uh, he's just inconsistent. I think a lot of it's the, the mental part of it. Instead of he's more worrying about getting the formation right, making sure the motion's correct, and he's got the cadence, and then he's got to worry about where guys are. As opposed, I mean, kind of being good mechanically takes a back seat to learning the system first, and I think you, you see the, uh, over the maturation process, once all that stuff becomes second nature, that he'll, be, he'll be a lot more comfortable. And I think he flashed some things today that, that – um, you know, that, that, that made him kind of, kind of who he is, the ability to make plays on his feet. Now, Johnny Manziel was not made available to reporters today, but Brian Hoyer was, and he had a couple of very interesting things to say. He was asked if it's a little frustrating that a backup quarterback, Manziel, a rookie, is sort of the center of attention right now, the focus of all the stories, and Hoyer said, no, not at all. He said, that doesn't affect me one bit. In fact, Hoyer said he was actually somewhat relieved when he saw that they drafted Manziel because he's fought for everything his entire career. He knew he was going to have to compete with somebody. And once they drafted Manziel, at least he could focus his, his attention on who that would be. Now, as for the first impressions that Manziel has made here in Cleveland over the past week and a half or so, it may surprise you, Randy. He, he's been described uh, when I've asked as quiet. He's been a guy that's really sort of kept to himself. Uh, he's had his nose in the playbook. And uh, right now he's swimming in information, as Mike Pettin described it. But he has not been a guy that's been out around town. He's basically gone from where he's living here to the complex, studied the playbook, and, and, and really kept to himself. Bob, it was Joe Thomas, actually, who told the Cleveland Plain Dealer, Johnny's done a good job of being a rookie, keeping his mouth shut. Rookies should be seen and not heard. So, so far he has Joe Thomas's stamp of approval.